Good evening. Uh, didn't have a chance to record this morning, or rather it was too noisy, um, some building work opposite. Um, so I did a little bit of work. Um, I was also a little bit late getting started, so I just kind of needed to get on with my day. Um, but I did get one little thing done. Um, I think I'm going to open in here. I moved my site building for Snippet Expander um, out of uh, the main build. So I can now do make, and it just builds all the binaries. It doesn't do the site. Um, that's from the target dies. So it's not a natural thing that just goes down and makes the site anymore. But I do I let it do a test um, or clean or tidy um, and update depths. Uh, in particular, the update depths is quite important. And obviously it cleans the, te the tests and tidy. They don't really do anything, but they're there for uh, consistency. Um, but what I was actually wanting to do uh, was to get on and build something like this. Um, so at the moment, we've got a we've got to the point where um, snippet expander I can make a deb but it's completely empty um, it doesn't have any binaries in it so if I look at the size of the dot deb there it's 1.8 kilobytes that's definitely not got anything in it um, I haven't even looked at the file and done any kind of querying on it but there's no way there's anything in there because the binaries are like a few megs each um uh, certainly the the gooey one anyway it's got assets and stuff in it so um what i was left wanting to do on the last video was put in a make install target um so that we can actually tell so that the the deb build goes make install um, and puts all the binaries and man pages and anything else into the right place under its own fake root um, and then it uses that to build the deb um, which then gets installed properly in the future so i'm at the point where i've done a little bit of work um, i have started updating the make files and um, so we have an install target and um, so but i'm not sure they're complete i need to go through i haven't tested them i have snapshotted this um, but i need to do like another pass through make sure they're okay um, i think i need to add some stuff to the gui one um, and then i'm going to give it a test as is just as a make install um, and then if that kind of works um, I will do a little clean up um, and build the deb and then see if I can get that working maybe on a clean install we'll see um, I might not have time to do that it's a little bit late but we'll have a go um, so yeah, so basically I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to get to the point where I can now add this override so that the um, dev build says, okay, use a different death star, uh, use a different prefix, um, but you know, run your make install. So let's do that. Um, I'm just gonna. Uh, run through all these, I think. So they are all in here. So each one now has a prefix. This is snippet expanded D, which is a little bit different in that it has two man pages. Um, so I have man one and man five here now, um, and they're going to be installed this way. Slightly different to what you see um, normally, in that I want to make sure um, this seems to be, I've just looked at the man page for this, 
um, you should be, I haven't tested this, but you should be able to say, okay, make all the destination folders leading up to this target folder directory um, and then put the objects in it. Um, and then, of course, I've got the same for the man, uh, man pages in section one and five. So that's all it's going to, going to do. It's got a dependency on obviously making sure that the binaries and the man pages are built. Um, so when I do make install, it should do that. It should install the binary, which is snippet expander D um, and the two man pages um, into their proper places built if they don't exist. Um, so that one I think looks okay. Uh, objects. So we've got in there, yeah. So that one again. Bin share man one. Uh, snip expander, same idea. And the auto expander. I miss the GUI. Yeah. Auto. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll go back and look at that in a minute. Just check these. So these ones. So all the other ones. They don't actually have anything to install. So they are just going to have a fake uh, install target. So it just doesn't complain when you're doing a make from the top level and goes through all the make files. And so yeah. So that should be okay. That should be okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's the last of them. Okay. And let's have a look at the um, the gooey one. I must have glossed over that. So here. Yeah. There's a little bit more going on here. Right, same thing here, but if I go into its directories here, I go into the build directory. Linux, you see we've got a share um, and I have in there, check just do a tree. Oh, okay, maybe not on here. I haven't got that installed. Okay. Uh, there, we've got applications. Um, and in there, it's just the desktop file, um, which tells uh, like a, a, a GUI environment like this, like Budgie, um, that the application exists um, and how to run it, what the icon is and like kind of stuff. Um, and then in the icons, um, it should be, oh yeah, I've got high color uh, and then various formats um, sizes I want all of that to be so that's Linux isn't it yeah I want all that to be copied into the same place into the same bit as that So I wonder how I do that. Is it hmm.
Okay, so minus D is treat all arguments. Hold on. In the first three forms, copy source to test or set in permission measure. In the fourth form, create all components of the given directories. Mm, okay, that's not quite what I want. I need to copy source directories into a directory. Let's check the flags here. And can you do globin? I might give this a little go manually. So it's just like a little test. Hmm. Okay, let's give it a go. So, yeah, if I go back one, actually, let's check what I've got in user local. User local share. Has man nothing in there? Is that right? Pseudo. Okay. Interesting. Well, there's no icons and all that kind of stuff. So presumably that's all going to be on Debian in here in the top level. So if I look at man, yeah, what was it? Icons? Oh no, oh no. Yeah, icons and applications. Yeah, okay. All right, that's okay. And icons. It's got a high color and it's the same format. Okay. I'm not going to do it into there because this is a quick test and I want to make sure that I don't screw up everything on here, even though it is snapshotted. Um, Let's do this then. Install minus D minus T user local share.
and then I want to do the source as build Linux share star. All right, now this is going to fail because I'm not using CD uh, sudo. Uh, so I should maybe get some results back there. Cool. Oh, I did sudo before. So why is it omitting? Okay. Is it just because I didn't do sudo or was it because install needs files? No. Oh. I mean, I could just do a copy, but this is supposed to be the safe way to do it with the right attributes and stuff. Yeah, directory. Do you want to the directory names? Create all components of the specified directories. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why that doesn't work. I wonder if I should do a, um, shall find instead or just do a copy If I could do that. Let's before I do that then before I start mucking about with this, let's make sure that these work. And then I'll add in maybe a find on those. Okay. So if I try and do make install, it should not work. Hold on, if I've done a make. We're good. Right, so if I do make install, permission should be wrong, should complain. OK. 
cannot create regular file. Use the local bins and the big expander GUI. Good. Okay. Pseudo. Okay. Nice. Great. Okay, so that worked. Uh, you might not be able to see that behind my head. There you go. Right. Okay. So, if that works. Ah. Uh, don't want to use that. Do that. Maybe. Can I use this? So if I go ah. and What are so if I do find dot minus name? Oh, actually, yeah, no, if I do the same as that, so I'll make sure I've got type F and name uh, star dot oh, it won't be SPGs will it? Oh I'll find yes it is okay okay I wonder That might just work, you know. Shell. Dollar shell. Okay. Let's give it a go. Uh, I need to cut. Oh, that's a bit painful. Okay. Hmm. It would be easy, a lot easier if I just used CP minus R. To user local share. There was an icon, wasn't there? No. Okay. No, we know there is a man. No, no, I don't need that. Go back. We want. Actually, yeah, no applications either. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. CP minus R. Bill Linux share. To test Prefix share. I'm trying to think of reason why I shouldn't do that. I bet there's a reason. But let's find out. Okay. Okay. How might I do the job? Let's just check. So in here, I'm going to go down as long as the binaries and man pages have changed, so something's changed, we will do make targets, which ripples down into all of them doing a make install. Okay. sudo make uh, just do a make actually first. Okay. Or make clean, make clean all, really get rid of everything. And then let's have a look at. So twenty one twenty six couple of minutes ago. So we do a make. That was quick. Okay, seems to have worked. Um, and then I make install. So sudo make install. Nothing to do, nothing to do. Let's 
snip expand uh, man page is GUI shared. Okay, so across from here, everything's there. Cool. Okay. Right then. So if that's the case on that. Let's try whatever the dead build command was. Doing path under the DJ. Okay. This might have problems because of the bits it leaves around. No. Must have cleaned it up. It's interesting how it does all that. Download it into its like own route and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, which reminds me, I should implement that root command sudo because I bet that's really the reason why it won't clean up. or overwrite when you do a second run. Uh, it leaves all these bits around, but we'll see. Okay, running tests. Uh, XVP needs to be done as well, forgot about that. Now what's it doing? Okay. So user local bin snip expander is not a directory. Right. That's that. Right, so that's so presumably the problem. Right, let me just do a quick one again to see if it falls over on the... Yeah, okay. So let me try something here. What's it called? Root command, I think. Root command equals sudo. There you go. That worked better. OK, 
Okay, pseudo Debian rules clean. Whereas previously, presumably, long way up here. Ooh. Gonna hear the end of the buffer. Bake root Debian rules clean. Okay, so yeah, that's the difference. Okay. Cool. So we know now to use the root command. Build. J1. Okay. Right. So now we need to try out this thing here in Debian rules. So we're going to do something like this, very like that, in fact, just for naming the project in Debian rules. Okay. Okay, so make par dh la override dh auto install. Right, so make set the desk dire to the present working directory Debian snippet expander prefix for user because that's where Debian installs things and not local. Do the install. So make install, do that. Is that the same? DH, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We actually got a Debian snip expander. We have what's in there. Ooh. Ah, interesting. All right. I think maybe we need to do a clean up there before we do any more. Right, that's a file that we definitely added. We did not add snippet expander. Of course.
I mean, basically all these things are going to be in the dot, uh, ignore anyway, so that I don't get them again. Deb helper. What's in that? Okay. Get rid of that for the moment. Um, and they're all things that I actually made. Don't know why that's got an executable on it. Anyway, rules. Okay, I am going to, before I forget, uh, nope. Okay, take that. I'm going to stick that where have I got things for right mm. Let's do this. So I'm going to make a deb uh, with this stuff. Not perfect because that VPN path I should really make sure go no whales and stalks first. But then it'll fail if you don't have your dependencies in place, so yeah. Okay. Make a dead. That's all the things again. It doesn't have to take a while if it has to download everything. It's very strange that it doesn't cache. Let's 
probably a command for that. Okay. Hmm. Why is it suddenly doing that then? Oh. Because of what I said. That'll be because of the root command. Hmm. I wonder, is there a way, I don't want to add, well I guess I can. I was wondering whether I can add to the rules. You're like, okay, it depends who you need to install is whales. See, is there any? There's no links there to rules. Okay, so Debian helper. Is there a mountain page? DH? Okay.
Okay. Okay, All right. So these are all the things that we run. Hmm. Hashtag wasn't there. Something about Overrides in this. Hmm. Yeah, not sure. Um, what am I going to do? So what I could do hmm. 
No, that's not going to work. It's got to be something to do with the control files. So anything do that Can I do this? That? And then this it's worth a go i'm assuming auto build is one of the things I'll give it a go okay so that worked then what Or was that local? Okay. Then it goes into the real thing. All right, okay. Let's do that. Any config I need to do. Wonder why that is running.
Hmm. Okay. Don't know why that's happening now. And it's getting late. I'm going to have to go do some research, I think. Uh, let's do a quick search. So, Deb build go install it's not going to have much Maybe I should actually read man page properly for that. I think I might As you know, I was going to say I might have to just give up for tonight, but let me just check this man page.
Yeah. Interesting how it just basically calls make because of the uh, first line in the rules. So if you're doing make build, that's right. Rooms build. So it's a DH build. Doing rules override. DH auto configure. It's funny that if I do this is going to fail. I can't remember if that failed or not. Feeling this root command might be the wrong way. See, that works. Okay. Why? Oh, or is that the normal one? No, no. We're only doing make. We're only doing to build.
Do you want to go and store on there? So why is it different? Why is that working? And then make file doesn't. Hmm. Okay. So, a bunch of warnings, but no errors. Well, that's kind of good. We knew we were going to have lots of warnings, because this is a very simple intro. And it said there would be lots of stuff to fix up. Okay. All right. So what have we got? There you go. That's much bigger. Okay, now I need to know how to actually install that or look at it. So, uh, sticky package, isn't it? Nope. Uh, I want a list. Minus L. Can I get like an info on it? Might as I would just install it. Um, let's go back and we'll do d package minus l why aren't you doing that hello Why is that not auto completing? That is strange. Okay. All right. Kind of looks okay. Right. Okay. Let's do Yeah, so I've got all these things installed. Let's go clean them up before we do this. Okay.
the icons menu as well. Let me just double check that. Pretty sure it's just mine. Yep. And then in the manuals, again, I think that was all my stuff. I created that. Permissions. Okay. All right, then. Let's see what happens. Gonna do it. Oh, I see that. It's happier. Uh, I should probably do sudo, eh? Okay. So I'm just gonna. Go to here and do man. Woohoo! Okay. That seems to work. Um, did it give me? It did. It's installed the GUI correctly. The icon's not showing. But it's found the daemon. It started it and it pulled in all the data from my last install. Um, I haven't got shook. Let me check actually before I do this. Make sure that really isn't there. Um, I should. Where would that be? Keyboard. Custom shortcuts. Custom shortcuts. None. Okay. Good. If I do. Okay. Install them. Come out of here. Right, so if I close the main snippet expander, can I, that was control, oh yeah, that works. Oh yeah, it's definitely on here because it's got no emoji, I still haven't installed any emoji on this VM. So I should be able to, well, just use this one. Okay, cool. So that works. Um, have we got the writer? I've got a writer, haven't I? Now, I've not started the auto expansion yet. So if I do SE backtick, nothing works. But if I, well, I'll just do it from the GUI. Eh? this up go to the settings and say yes i would like the auto expander thanks and now it expands cool smart all right so for some reason can't get the make file to do the thing but we do have a working dev there.
Um, I guess the one thing I need to test is whether that Debian rules thing did anything. I'm going to take that out because I've got a feeling that's not helping. We know we need this. I think I just need to find out how to do like pre-install stuff on there. So if I do a make now, it's fine, it's clean. Well, it's made anyway. Actually, let's do that. Make clean and make clean all. And then what shall I do there? Shall I? Just do a make. So this is normal standard in my environment. Do the make. And now I'll do the dead build here as well. Super cleans again. in the makes and that's working Okay, I don't know why it works here, but not in a make file. OK, 
Okay. So that is it done it again correctly, I think. A second. Hmm. But I can also get rid of that. And I now know why as well. That should be a double dollar, shouldn't it? I think. Make deb. That kind of looks like it's working, but so it did it. Did its own clean. It's now working through the build. And where else is working? Okay. Right. <laughs> so there was the thing there was the dollar dollar. It needs to be um in the make file. A dollar would normally expand to its own variable but I needed to pass it down so that's fine okay we'll see what this comes back with it should be that five five point something megs and then I'll just give it a little check. That looks good. D package minus I snip expander dip. Uh sudo. Good stuff. Okay, so command line ping pong. Yep. Uh, if I do stop, things not working. Let's 
start ping pong and I can do auto expand is on let's turn it off it's off um no no let's double check that so if i do se back tick doesn't work if i turn it on in the command line though it does work smart Okay, we have a work in binary. Right, I think we need to commit this. <laughs> uh, right, now. I haven't got laser gear in here, have I? Nope. Okay. Let's do this then. So. In here, what's all that then? What's the sub? Hmm. I might ignore that just for now. Uh, let's actually. We'll do it in here. It's all related to here. So we will do get so I've got a microphone in the way. We want to ignore dot deb helper. Think we'll ignore Deb Helper build stamp for the moment. Not sure whether that's gonna be needed or not. That files I need to have a quick look at. What's in there? I will ignore that for the moment. It's not something I created. Definitely need to ignore snippet expander where it's all been built. Um, I could No, I'm just doing this at the moment. Yeah, actually, we will. Anything beginning with snippet expander is going to be ignored. And now I need to have a quick look at source. It's just the format, which we need to keep. OK, 
keep that. Okay. Think that's okay. Deb helper, Deb helper build stamp. files and anything snip expander for the moment. So make files, get ignore, change log, control copyright rules, the source format file, and the rest of the make files. Okay. Right now, I've not actually put a build into that. I shouldn't have pushed that. Yeah. Uh, so what I could do is in the Debian. Hold on. Let's do this in Vim. Let's do this. Let's add a dot deb. Oops. Uh, version in is going to be fun there, isn't it? I was just thinking of putting it as an artifact. Um, I need to do a whole thing there where I If there's a tag, I use that and do the do. So I'll come back to that. I think for the moment it'll be just good if it's always building and then in another 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 session I will see what I can do to specify the name and then use that as an artifact. their particular name for the tag. I wonder if I can actually do
just do the build on the tank but anyway right, let's try that We will see. Okay. Right. Well, I am done with this VM today. And I think I am, it's going to be a while before this is done. So I will report back on the next session as to what's going on there and whether I can get a .deb working with better linting and possibly tagging and versioning. We'll see. Um, we will see. But uh, thanks for watching this much longer video than I expected. But yay, we kind of got it working. Um, until next time, you take care. Bye.